In the AEC space for contractors, architects, engineers, those that are doing house remodeling or house additions, what kinds of problems or challenges do they face? And let's for the moment not talk about eye guide. Let's talk specifically about problems or challenges that those uh, AEC people face uh, every day. Okay, that's a that's a really great way way to start. Um, I think that there are a lot of challenges. I don't know all of them, uh, but I know some of them very well. Uh, so um, one of the biggest challenges and something that people don't really enjoy doing, I mean, some people do, but not everyone, um, is measuring homes. So measuring a space can be difficult. Um, and homes are, I should say homes, buildings or properties are uh, sometimes um, complicated. <laughs> so measuring can be can be very challenging and especially um, challenging depending on the type of technology that you're using. So you know I'm sure a lot of people can identify with um, measuring something with a, a tape measure or or something you know um, like a laser distance measure. Um, those things are can be great. Uh, is the challenge with measuring, is it related to how long it takes? Is it the, the accuracy of measurement? Uh, is it yet something else? Yeah, let's dig in. So I think uh, accuracy is a big one, right? Every device used to measure is going to be a little bit different, and they're going to have different um, levels of accuracy. Uh, you know, there's sag and a tape measure, and laser distance measures are given a, a very specific, um, uh, you know, um, error, uh, you know, um, over a certain distance. Um, that <clears throat> that accuracy has a lot to do with how you use them as well. Um, so are you measuring a single point or multiple points on a wall? Uh, you know, what's the frequency that you're using that device? And so, you know, that relates to what you just said, which is speed. Yeah. So measuring takes time. It can be, it can be very time consuming. And you also um, mentioned frequency. Does that mean in terms of, well, you, it's not just that you measured once, but that you've had to come back and back and back and back to a space to, to remeasure for whatever reason? Ah, it can be both. That's really good. So I, what I was referring to specifically was um, non-standard uh, spaces. So we all assume walls are straight, but that's not the real world. <laughs> so so when you when you are measuring, you want your measurements to be like robust and you know comprehensive, right? So you wouldn't measure just one point on a wall and go, okay, well we're done, right? That's the length of the room. You would measure multiple points um, um, to get get enough data to be confident that what you you've measured is is um, as accurate as it can be. So um, and we're not even talking about like really complicated spaces that are like round or hexagons. This is just like you know, square rectangular room. So that, that's what I was referring to, but that's a really good point um, in that uh, there is some uncertainty in human error in all forms of measurement. Um, but when you're using a manual a method like a like a tape or a, a trundle wheel or a laser distance measure, um, there is that process of taking that measurement and then like documenting it. And uh, um, that can be, uh, like I said, prone to human error. I used to have this problem all the time where I would write down like sevens and nines and I'd get them confused. And later I'd look at my sketches and think, oh, <laughs> I hope I was close, you know. <laughs> so, um, you know, if, that, the, if I was going to say a problem, it, it relates to, you know, that process of translation where you're you're using your device and then you're you know recording that as well yeah that affects so you, you added a human to the process and that yeah. humans just ruin things you human know? errors yes 